Once we had our two point perspective city up in Pixlr, we made sure to close out the promotion, move the history down, and expand the layers. We always unlock the background and rename it. We're going to rename this City Background. And click in the gray area. Then we opened up another layer by clicking Layer, New Layer, and we went over to the Gradient tool. Here, we chose colors for our sky. You do so by clicking on the right side arrow. We chose our color, and I know I've seen skies go from a purpley blue down to, and I say OK once I have my color chosen, down to a kind of orange. So I go into the orange zone, and I choose that, and you can see what it's going to look like up here. It's too dark. Maybe I'll go a little more into the red area here. There we go. That's the color I like, so that is what I'm going to go with. And I say OK. Now I'm on it, so I need to, I already have the tool clicked, grab it and draw the line. And there's the gradient that I chose from a dark purple down to like a melon orange. If I want it to be smaller, I can just go halfway with this line and there's the gradient right there. I can change the gradient by going top to bottom in full range. Or I can go sideways, top to bottom. I can go sideways again, top to bottom. But I like it when it starts with purple on top down to orange. And that's what I think my sky is going to look like. So I double click here again and I rename this layer sky. And click in the gray area. Now I'm going to move the sky to the background. I move it to the background by dropping it, grabbing it, and bringing it beneath the city background. I want to work in the city background right now. So I click that, highlight it blue, and I grab my magic wand. I click in this area and hit delete. That deletes the white area of it, and my gradient background shows through. I zoom out a little bit because to get off of this wand, I need to hit in a neutral gray zone, like right here on the edge. You zoom in and out by scrolling the middle of your mouse. I'm going to grab the eraser tool now, and I'm going to go back to my sky layer because I want to work on the sky. And I am going to grab a star. And I giggle a little bit because I want to make the large dipper. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five stars. Here's six and seven, and there's my large dipper in the sky. I'm then going to change my star probably to this one over here. And now I can come back and add a whole bunch of other stars. And all I'm doing is erasing make sure some go off the page so your image doesn't seem stuck and make sure some go down behind the horizon line and behind the buildings there we have in order to save this image like we did yesterday I want to make sure it's highlighted on the bottom layer it says city background I get to a neutral tool which is a move tool I go up to file save and I'm going to change the name of this I have to wait until it says OK, and then I'm going to change the name of this to City in Perspective or City in Progress. Day one. Because this is the first day we've worked on it. I change my format from a JPEG, which squishes the image together as one flat image, and I want to keep these layers over here. In order to keep the layers, I have to save it as a PXD. So I change the format to PXD. It says working, please wait, so I wait.
and then I'm going, once it says okay, I'm gonna go and save it into the file that we made today, either your Art 76A or your Art 77A. So I click on this. and hit save. Your image is saved and you are now ready to close out of Pixlr Editor. Leave the page and you may X out and log off for the day.